Welcome back everybody, good to see you all around. Today is the third day that we are building on our modular builds over here, and before we go any further, can I just say, well, we're standing here in a, a pretty up-and-coming area in the world, unrelated to the world completely, and unrelated to this episode, just thank you so much for all the crazy amounts of support you guys do give myself on this uh, on this series. It's crazy when we, we took a little bit of time where we couldn't upload videos, it was a real pain in the butt, Come back and everyone's happy. Everyone's great to, it's, good. it's just great to see everyone back. I guess that's what I'm saying. But either way, great to see how awesome this place is turning out and uh, and just hopefully that it's helping you guys out in your own worlds as well. So enough about that. Let's get on today with the episode. Today is going to be a very big one, in fact. And I'm a little bit, I guess, uh, worried with the way this is going to turn out. But you know what? We're going to tackle whatever we're about to do, which I'll explain. Uh, we're going to tackle it. Straight on, we're not going to worry about it, and we're going to see how we can go. So, the idea is, this build, which I'm going to clarify, because it's kind of a weird build, and, and maybe today will be where some people might not have even realized what I'm talking about the past two episodes. Today might be a day where we kind of get everything together, and we figure it out together. And that is, that, well, let's just, let me just stand here. That is, that what we are doing, is we are going to be building pieces of this build, which is a, a currently a pretty good looking tower if you ask me I do I do quite like it <laughs> uh, but we're gonna be taking this tower and we're gonna make it as if pirates have taken over and started building their own things putting pieces together kind of like a, a scrapyard or a junkyard style build well as if they got their stuff from it but you know what I mean uh, that we're just gonna be adding on and adding on and adding on and adding on and that's what we are doing today today is a big one though and there's a very important reason why it's a big one uh, it's because we're building a ship, and if anyone here has tried building a ship, let me tell you this. Ships, they're not easy. In fact, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this straight up from the beginning. Try and get a good a good little bit of a shape here and see how we go with, with shaping this thing out. So ships, as I say, are very much not easy, and we want to get this, I think it's the hull of a ship in here. So it looks like this tower has had a, a ship built, well, broken down ship put around it. And in there, that lies a, a, a future bar where we're going to be doing more stuff to it and just building a really weird, interesting build. That's that's really what I want. I want to build, instead of building one build, I want to build many builds that make one very, very cool build. Uh, so what I want to do now is I just want to get a, a cool shape for this hull, and then we'll see how we go. I just want to maybe get some distance out here so we can kind of have a, a reference point to see how we're going to go up. So we've got like one, two, three, four, five blocks. We want to probably... Go six, seven, eight. Yeah, I guess if we do slant it up that way, uh, we'll, we'll get a pretty cool shape. And let's just check. Can I put this on there? Okay, good. It is the right right, right one. I was worried it was going to be like one of the ones where it, it ends up having that piece dropping down. But uh, this is pretty much the way I'm going to do it. This is how I think would be the, the best way to tackle this. If we could do something along these lines. In fact, I did not realize it was going to be that short and stubby. Maybe we need to go out one more like that. And then up, maybe. We might have a very good shape, and then that is already, if we do get this right, that is already one of the biggest problems about building a ship, uh, done. Well, sort of. Oh, no. Uh, what did I put there? Ah, I see. I see what it is. It's a slab. I was gonna say, I, I could have sworn I was just dealing with stairs, but now I can see what it is. So, well, this is meant to be the front, by the way. I forgot to tell you guys. So, look at this. Just ignore what's up the top here. Shape. Going from longer to shorter to shorter to shorter, and all the way up. I think that can work very well. And then what we want to do is we want to go out the back here as well. And we want to just make the ship uh, come come around here. Where did I go? I went from that one. We'll just go one, two, three, four. Um, look for look for shape. As I say, shape is important. That's that's literally all we caring about today. In fact, I don't even think we're going to do too much detailing on on this ship in general because it's going to be the shape that takes it, and then the detailing on what we build on top of the ship in the future that is going to be making it. Cool, I hope. And and we might even still have to take a bit of this building down, which I'm totally down with. So if we if we go there, it could be pretend, like pretend it's in, in the ground a little bit. This tree's in a very annoying spot. <laughs> um, I guess that could be all right. I think we're we in water right now. Yeah, it goes up there. I suppose this is unintentional, but we could build it in with this tree inside of it. In fact, we can even go out there, so the tree is very much inside of the ship. Let's just go down like that. Okay, that needs to be there. 
and let's see this. So if we look at that, goes down there. Uh, that block there is just too much. And then this is how you build yourself a ship. And the same thing occurs in the water, but this is a small one. I mean, if you guys, by the way, I'm, I'll, I'll try to remember, if I do forget, you guys know to yell at me in the comments and tell me, Jancy, you forgot to put a link uh, to my video of my first ship. And let me tell you this, that was still my favorite build of all time. I built this really, really large ship, if you guys don't know in my last world, and it was called the HMS Words, and I just, I, I loved it so much. It, it really, it was one of those projects, and I speak about it all the time, because it's, it's my favorite ever project, uh, where I just kind of got into it, and it worked from the beginning, and it somehow just worked. <laughs> and I've been so scared about attempting many more ships, because I, I don't know if I can get them to work as well as that one, but it was certainly a, a cool build, and a fun build, and something I learned a lot about uh, building from, was, was the HMS words. Uh, by the way, comments from two videos ago, uh, they, they can, can, the comment was, Jancy, can you please do an episode fixing the inside of your warehouse? Yes, I will. I certainly will. I think the warehouse needs it. They they look cool from the outside, not so cool from the inside. And uh, and I, I totally get you. In fact, it's one of those things where I'm like, oh, it's just a storage room. But the storage room, you probably spend more time than any other building. So uh, I could I could totally understand that. And uh, certainly, we, we will do that. We will fix it. And uh, and who knows? Maybe soon, maybe not. I, <laughs> I'll have to see. I'll have to see how we go. But I, I agree with you on that completely. Uh, now, what I want to do, and this, this is where shipbuilding gets a little bit annoying, and uh, I'll explain it, and you guys will know what I mean, uh, is if you are doing it, obviously, on a, a straight line, some people are crazy, and they do it on awkward angles and stuff, which is, I mean, you know what, if you see someone do that, that person's a pro, but I can't do that. I, I haven't, I haven't attempted it, but I, I do want to one day maybe give it a go and see how much hair I have left by the end of it. Uh, if I've pulled it all out, I don't know, but in the in the end, I think that is really the the coolest kind of ship you could see, is, is some done on an angle, and if you guys ever want to find some that are done on an angle, look up the, they're a building group, I'm fairly certain they're a group, but uh, I see a lot of videos from them, and well, a lot of builds, and uh, their name is Elysium Fire, and man, those people are insanely good at ships and, and just building in general, so if you guys ever want a bit of inspiration, uh, you know where to go for that, but man, they are they are crazy, crazy good. Okay, there we go. That's that's actually not a bad shape. I I just worry a little bit about how much how much we've got in uh, in the middle to work with. But hmm, let me just let me just step back. My idea is that we are going to have a, a building on the ship. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine distance wise here. If we put a building on the inside of the ship, even if yeah, this only comes out here, so we'll, we'll just do this for now. Just do that, just temporarily. Uh, not many blocks wide, but yeah, the building will help us out, and, and we do not have to worry about that. Now, while we're doing this, another thing, which I think we can maybe, once we've got a, a decent shape, uh, we can go and figure it out, is I was thinking about some names for our pirate cove, or bay, or whatever we called it, which I think it was like a... I'm gonna guess like 20 episodes ago, I said, hey guys, if you've got ideas, let me know. And we just, we kind of been bouncing around this area and the area around. Maybe it was less than 20, who knows. Uh, uh, but yeah, in the end, I was thinking about what what are the names? What are, what have people come up with? And there were some very, very cool ones. And I was thinking about just, because I, that's what I do, just weird, weird names to come up with. And I, I was thinking about why, why is it always Blackbeard and Redbeard and all these people? I was just thinking, what about like a Bluebeard? But I'm like, that, that doesn't really make sense. But maybe, maybe this Bluebeard guy that may have taken over this, because remember, these these may have had another name. So these may have been named something completely different when the the, the big, uh, all like the powerful power that controls this island, who knows, maybe it's a, maybe it's a kingdom. Who knows? We haven't got there yet. But uh, maybe they had a different name. But I was thinking of, of the coves and the bays and all those names. And I was thinking... Bluebeard's Bay sounds kind of weird. It sounds kind of strange. Maybe Bluebeard's just a very angry person that uh, just was unhappy. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I feel like because if, if you hear the name Bluebeard, and you're like, oh, that guy doesn't sound too ang too scary. The guy's got a, a big fuzzy blue beard. Of course not. But maybe they're just a very annoyed person. And then they they jealous or something like that. And they wanted, they wanted the bay named after them. They, they took it over. And uh, started their empire here. We can make it really stupid, really. We, we don't have to make any sense with it. it that's, that is the beauty of this and the game in general, is it doesn't have to make sense. 
<laughs> you know what would be funny is, Jensen, that doesn't make sense, but a boat in a tower. Now, now you got, <laughs> now you know what you're talking about. But um, yeah, that, that's just what I was thinking. I think maybe Bluebeard's Cove, and uh, we can maybe we can maybe do it along the lines. And this is where I was thinking, just just to try and create stupid amounts of confusion around it. But perhaps uh, we could we could pronounce like Bluebeard's Cove, and then you're like, well, was that a beard or was that bird? Um, I think we should I think we should go and sort that out right now. We're in Parrot area right now, and this is where we're going to be getting our bluebirds. And I was busy coming this way, and I decided... Well, I didn't decide. I... I it, it was made apparent to me by me thinking about parrots. And uh, there are two different types of blue parrots. Well, I did not know this one was there. I knew about the blue one that was literally there a second ago. I did not know this one was around there. Uh, I actually had my, my old parrot resource pack on at the moment, and I was wondering where all my parrots went. In fact, do I want to keep this as a... Hmm, a wild? Nah, I'll, I'll keep it as a... Uh, oh, yeah, that's... that. Ah, oh, I know what's happening. I know what's going on. There you go. I want to keep it as a standard... A standard, uh, pet parrot. But, yeah, I, I'm thinking, having a few of these birds around there, we've got a few cool things which we can do with this. So, th by the way, by the way, before I go any further with the names, you guys are crazy with names. Can I just put that out there? Because people in the comments uh, definitely, definitely know names... Uh, make names better than me because every time I've thought about a name I'm like that's terrible and you know what maybe they're not even that bad But uh, I just find I'm not nearly as confident with the names and uh, you guys tend to be much better Okay, I thought I was finding another parrot. What direction am I actually even pointing? I should be if that over there I can see a thing there so it might be a tree that I've cut down before uh, But right now I should be painting uh, pointing <laughs> southeast uh, East south good 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 could have just checked the sky, I guess. Uh, but yeah, the, just in general, there's some crazy names, and uh, and I I was very much inspired by many of the names there. So uh, one of the names, actually, uh, I've got it written down. Let me let me find where I've written it down. Uh, the name that I saw, which was pretty cool, uh, there was a, there was a few ones, but the the Nether's End what was one I didn't really think of a as a name for the 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 place itself, the 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 village. I I didn't really think that would be cool for that. I thought it'd be really cool. Yet again for a, a pub or a bar, and uh, and I think that's what we're going to end up doing, which is kind of funny because the last time we got a cool name, uh, we used it for a bar as well. So, uh, <laughs> hey, maybe maybe that's just what's going to happen. We're just going to have a whole bunch of like uh, uh, pub crawling places around this around this world. We just go from one to the other to the other and uh, have have a, a great time. Now, can I find any more parrots? Really? There's. I wonder. I'm pretty sure they they go on with the normal mob cap. So. Perhaps I'm not doing myself any favors by keeping those sheep around, but we'll, we'll just keep exploring for a little bit. I, I do want to find maybe two or three more. That would be great. Uh, so we can maybe have four or five total parrots would be even better. Uh, the more the merrier, but uh, we'll, we'll see how they go. Besides that, I, I, I also kind of liked my old parrot pack where I, I changed parrots into seagulls and pigeons. Uh, that was pretty cool as well. So maybe we could just get some pigeons in the game and I don't have to do that. That'll be great. Thanks. Thanks. Th that's all I ask. <laughs> that's really not. There's way more. But uh, yeah, in general, I, I just need to find myself some parrots. And you know what? Uh, if I don't get any luck with parrot finding, I guess I'm going to have to settle for, for one right now. That's better than nothing. And successful, kind of. I guess the real problem, as you can see, we, we're traveling around here with two bluebirds. And in fact, we've got some other ones. But uh, I did not get the five that I wanted. And on our trip here, there was some really weird stuff happening every time I got in and out of boats. It's pretty funny to watch, but hey, that's that's that. This is this. This is what we're looking at with this ship. But, whoa. That is actually very scary. <laughs> oh, all the baby mob sounds around here. I'm guessing... Maybe under here? No, nah, there's just sand. There must be somewhere, now I've kind of trapped myself in, there must be around here some mobs and uh, or a little cave that these guys are all spawning in. That was actually very scary, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but let's see if we can get these guys on, maybe not on the boat just yet. Oh, yeah, perfect, perfect spot. Come up here, buddy. Come on. Follow me around here. Uh, where, where'd he go? Ah, hey. Is that guy going to sit? There we go. And here. Uh, wherever you are, there. And we can maybe just walk up, walk up, and if I do this... 
Perfect. All right, so that guy has stopped there. In fact, I don't want that block there. I think that was even a mistake, to be honest, why that block was even there. But there we go. Add a little bit of color to the place as well with the birds. And the other cool thing about these birds is they they just add a bit of life. They move around every now and then. They look around and they're not going to fly anywhere because, of course, uh, we've, we've got them stuck there. But I think they're pretty useful. Ooh. Oh, wait, I remember why I got that. I was like, what is that? And then I remembered. I went past the spawn, so we can update this. Let's just do that. I actually forgot about this. So this over here, by the way, if you look on the map, you see that. Oh, wait, that doesn't take it away. Uh, Pirate's Cove. I'm actually kind of surprised. I guess that is part of the uh, UI. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that over there, the Pirate's Cove, is where the... Wait, that doesn't take, take it away again. Uh, the banner is over here, which is a named banner. Let me just get rid of it. Or maybe like that, like this. And where is the banner? Pirate's Cove. You see that? Named Pirate's Cove. So we need to change the name of the banner, which reads Pirate's Cove and now it reads nothing over here, to say Pirate's Cove. So do I have, no, this is a good question, an anvil or something along those lines? No, I guess I may be needing to make a little bit of a trip. Aha. Please make good stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Too short. Well, too enough. Sorry, not too short. <laughs> too, too safe. And oh, we had 27 up there. That would have been annoying if I went all the way back for that. So we need to go and say that we are not naming it because that was just a temporary name. What we need to name it now is a blue bird. Do you want to say blue birds or blue, or blue birds? That's it. Blue birds. Uh, Bay, which will be the old name, but it's really Bluebeard's Bay because Bluebeard is a jealous person who could not want their name, who, who needed their name marked on the on the the map. So uh, we'll say Bluebeard's Bay just to to annoy the guy. So let's go in. Guess we kind of like burying our own treasure in a weird way right now. Uh, in in here, just down there, and we'll slap that guy down over here. In fact, it will be smarter for me to not do it like this. Let me just get rid of that. And we'll put a, a solid block under here. So if ever I'm digging out this sand, I'm not going to break the block below it and mistakenly uh, not have this map named. Uh, why is that the case? There we go. Bluebird's Bay. So I have to click on it. I actually forgot about that. And now we just go here. And here. No. And here. And look who did not think far enough to get proper blocks to put that there. I'll just do that. Temporary solution. Fantastic solution. Now, what I want to do here, because we, we may as well do the next stage of the ship, because I, I don't want this ship, because th this is the focus of today's episode, which I think is honestly looking fantastic. I'm very happy with it. I, I, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but it's, it's definitely looking quite good for me. And what I want to do to just add a little bit more onto it. Here, this is what I need. There, there, and I think they'll be all right. I may need to go grab some uh, dark oak, but we, we'll probably be all right. So with this ship, just taking a, sto a stop over here just to look at it, because I think that that's very important. Ignore the particles. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually very happy with it. I think the tree coming out of it adds to it, which was completely unplanned, unintentional. Now picture around here, we're gonna have at the back here, a bit more of a building, like a proper building built back there that's been built into this, built into this, built into this, you know what I mean? You see what I'm saying? Everything just adding in. And what I want to do now, because I think this is quite important, is just to make the ship a little bit smoother on the edges. Kind of like what we described in the last episode with these things to make it look a little bit round, you know, where you, you dip things off of it. We can give it a go and see if maybe adding in a bit of this stuff around here like this and around here. Uh, adds adds anything to to making it uh, a bit more smooth. So let's do something there. Maybe remove that one, and let's just step back. That won't. But maybe this, um, like this, will. No, that's a bit too much. Maybe you see this is this is back to this this whole build actually is all about trial and error, and I think. Perhaps something along these lines here, maybe, will work. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a bit of figuring out what what does and doesn't fit in the the, the whole thing. But I think, I think that's doing all right. Yeah, that's certainly fine. I might have to do a little bit more around the edges. Let's just, you know what, before I commit, I, I, just, need to, I just need to step back and see it for myself properly. 
it adds a bit of it adds a bit of something to it. I gotta give it that. Maybe maybe it'll it'll show when we go on the other side. And let me just fix up my ground here so that I don't have to uh, put it off much longer. And of course, yeah, there's the next problem. We'll just fill this up with random junk. Uh, wait, that's that's not two. That's E. Why did I press that button? I don't know. Uh, we'll do this. We'll take it over here. There, 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 and we'll just see what that little edge looks like. To me, it takes too much away from the the ship. I, I actually think it does. Uh, despite, I think if I maybe mess around with it a bit more, I could get it to work. But I, I think it does, to some extent, break the ship, I guess. Uh, I, I think. So let's just quickly sleep, and then we can come and check it out. I, I don't want to do too much more, as I say. Once we've got this other piece on top, I think it's going to work very, very well. Where is my bed? Right there. Fantastic. And then also here, here's another thing I do want to do though, before we before we finish off the ship, because I, I had this thought and I think this is going to work very, very well. I want some of those. I want some of those guys and maybe them. Actually, certainly them. We'll, we'll keep them. And I want to just fix up this area on the outside uh, over here because I was busy boating around as you do, specifically just right then when I was going to the, the jungle out that way. And I, I need to fix up this area so it actually looks full, finished, but up here, it just was kind of bugging me that, well, there's that block there, but it's just bugging me that it's kind of plain and, and doesn't have too much going on. So if we look at it, they're just these repetitive windows and, well, not windows. I guess I go in a way what I want to do. <laughs> uh, I want to put some windows in there just to make them look a little bit more interesting because they're very, very flat and uh, not too, not too interesting. And I, I need them, I need them to be a little bit more interesting than what they are. Can I go down a little bit? One, two, now go over. I very rarely overshoot in that direction. Normally I overshoot the other way, and or undershoot really, and then have to come back. Ah, ah, ha, ha, look at this. I could save this, I guess, like this. Cool. All right, so what, what I want to do is I want to put in these, because I know these work very well with a little bit of uh, the, the two together. In fact, I didn't even need to use that one. I could have I could have put a proper block there. Let's do that. Uh, oh, turns out I did. Never mind. I had them there in the, in the beginning. I thought these were all, yeah, rounded blocks. Leave, leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, so those there, we do have some of these around here. We're just going to make some very cool windows, just simple windows. In there, we'll put this up, up there, there, and from bottom, top to bottom, and from top to bottom, like that. And we should have a fairly simple window that will look mostly interesting compared to the other one. So there we go. Let's just step back. This is just some things I need to do to fix it. In fact, the next thing I want to do to fix is probably just that corner there. And then we can start fixing up over here. There's there's quite a bit of stuff we need to do uh, just around here. Just the finishing touches, the, well, for these areas, not for the whole build. There's a whole bunch of piratey things that we do need to build. Let's just step back. I'm pretty sure this will be fine. There's nothing too crazy about the window like that. Yeah. I'll put another one in there and another one in there. I just don't have enough dark oak right now, but that's fine. That's easy. We can do that. But today, I think what we'll do is we'll go and finish off our little view of our ship and then we will be probably moving on to the next episode because I'm very, very excited about this and I think we've got some very cool things to do. So if you guys have any input on uh, what you want to see in the ship or what you want on the back of the ship or any other cool things, any other projects sort of like this, we could put like a ship with a... I don't know, a giant parrot skull with something else. I'm, I'm down to give it a go. <laughs> I really am. Uh, those are just things I kind of put together and thought that could be kind of cool. Maybe a parrot skull actually could be a pretty cool thing. I don't know. I'm thinking about that now. That's uh, that's an interesting thought. We can, we can mess around with that. Uh, but tell me what you guys think about this. I think it looks pretty cool. I'm going to go clear that junk off the back, and then I'm going to go and think about what I'm going to be putting on the edge here. So thank you very, very much for joining me here today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you very, very soon.